Some people living in Matthews had one last chance to hear from candidates running for commissioner before heading out to the polls, but instead they were locked out and turned away. Yes, we have some video as people were in their vehicles lining the street heading over to Plantation Estates for that event tonight. But as they arrived, security quickly turned them away at the door. All of this happened hours after a Channel 9 investigation uncovered that one of the candidates is violating campaign finance laws. Anchor Genevieve Curtis is joining us live tonight. Genevieve, even you were turned away out there. Erica, that's right. This was as far as we were allowed to get tonight to where that meeting was being held. Our report this afternoon on Barbara Dement on her campaign finance report may be the reason why we weren't allowed to go in, but the public was also not allowed to attend this afternoon's, this evening's meeting. And Barbara Dement just happens to work here. I'm really angry. Voters are upset. We have questions about what's happening in this town, and I think that I think that we need answers. They came to hear from the candidates in their community. It is the last forum, and so we came to hear what the candidates have to say, so we know who to vote for. Only to be turned away at the door. And then they asked us to leave the property. This afternoon, a Channel 9 investigation discovered Commissioner Barbara DeMent has not filed the campaign finance report on and off for two years and has missed the last four filings. Barbara DeMent also works for Plantation Estates. This morning, it was a public forum. This afternoon, it's private. This is the letter that was sent out from Plantation Estates last month, which clearly says the media will be invited. But when we showed up, we weren't allowed past this gate. There were media reports by Channel 9 that came out this afternoon uh, pertaining to campaign finance reports not being filed by a particular uh, candidate who's running for this office. Uh, and everything changed after that. But it wasn't just the media shut out tonight. Neighbors, voters, and family members of candidates were kept out too. One of our producers is a Matthews resident and tried to go into the meeting. He was also turned away. What happened tonight is truly a restriction of the community being informed. This campaign manager tells me he wasn't allowed in either, but campaign staff for DeMent was allowed in. In the past, it's always been public. There's never been a shutdown of people coming in. Candidate Renee Gardner says they were told this forum would be open to the public and to the media, and then it changed. Maybe two hours before the event started. At the forum, candidates were allowed to speak for five minutes. There were no questions from the audience. Videos shared with Channel 9 from inside showed DeMent addressing our investigation. She says she wants to give people the truth and tells voters she is a few days late. And I am much rather it be accurate than a few days late. Despite the fact that it's been nearly two years in some cases. This is not how I envision democracy, and I'm very disappointed. That was our anchor, Genevieve Curtis, reporting out there. Uh, the state has fined DeMent $1,000 for failing to file, but she can still remain on the ballot. And in our story, you heard the disappointment from the voters about how all of this has been handled. Many of them told us that they have attended all of the previous candidate town halls and that this was the first one where they were not allowed to go inside. They believe it all comes back to our report about DeMent.